The topic of this video is solving absolute value equations. Let's look at some problems. All right, find the real solutions of the equation. The absolute value of the difference u minus seven equals negative one fifth. Let's go through the steps together. First, replace the expression inside the absolute value bars with star. Next, ask yourself, what number can you replace star with to make the equation true? Well, when you take the absolute value of a number, the result will be positive or zero, not negative. Therefore, there is no solution to this equation. All right, that was a short one. Let's do another. The absolute value of 1 minus 3t plus 5 equals 18. All right, let's use a similar approach as to uh, what we did in a previous problem. I'm just going to temporary, temporarily put my hand right over here so that it says something plus 5 equals 18. So if you think about it, whatever is behind my hand needs to equal 13. So what's behind my hand? This. All right. Now, if you're not sure how to get here in your head, you can always follow the steps, which is to say subtract 5 on both sides. The intent of doing that is to get the absolute value bars isolated. So we're left with the absolute value of 1 minus 3t equals 13. All right, now replace the expression inside the absolute value bars with a star, and we get the absolute value of star equals 13. Now, what kind of number can we replace star with so that when we take the absolute value, we get the result 13? The answer is star can be a negative 13 or star can be replaced with a positive 13. Of course, star in this problem is actually 1 minus 3t. So we get 1 minus 3t equals negative 13, or 1 minus 3t equals positive 13. Let's solve both of those equations. OK, beginning with the first one, I want all terms with the variable on one side and all terms without on the other. So I'm going to pick this up and move it over here. I'm going to pick this up and move it over here. When a term changes sides, it changes signs. So I get 1 plus 13 equals 3t. 14 equals 3t. Divide by 3 on both sides. 14 thirds equals t. That's one solution. The other equation... 1 minus 3t equals 13 can be solved using the same tactic. I will pick this term up and move it over here, and this term up and move it over here. So I get 1 subtract 13 equals 3t. Negative 12 equals 3t. Dividing by 3 on both sides, I get negative 4 equals t. So there are two answers to this problem. The first one is 14 thirds. The second one is negative 4. When you can count the number of solutions to a problem, you can place them in a set separated by a comma. So this is our answer in set notation. Is it possible to check our solution? The answer is yes. Let's check one of these values. I'll let you check the other. Let's check 14 thirds. So anywhere I see my variable t, I'm going to put the value that I'm testing, 14 thirds. All right, well, three is the same as three over one, and these threes are going to cancel. So I'll have 1 minus 14. 
plus 5 equals 18. The absolute value of negative 13 plus 5 equals 18. The absolute value of negative 13 is positive 13. And 13 plus 5 is 18. So I get 18 equals 18. And this value is proven as being correct. If we plugged in the other value, we would find that it is correct as well.